hey, hey there, everybody, Zoe Savior here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon White 2. In the last episode, we finished taking care of the Team Plasma members that we found on their frigate right outside of the Pokemon World Tournament, but were swept away by Zinzolin and his Shadow Triad. Many mysteries are left to be unsolved, but afterwards, we ventured into the Relic Passage and made our way to the lowest levels of the Relic Castle. Friends, to start things off, I'm actually going to be using a, a, a Max Repel because I had to un-Max Repel it so I could catch uh, Orion last episode, the Bulldor we're using as our uh, strength slave. So, because while I was uh, prepping this particular recording session, I encountered a battle and Blue grew to level 35. So, uh, that is that, friends. You can catch several Pokemon down here. I ran into a Sand Slash, actually. There's not much down here. You can find Baltoys. I should mention that. I mentioned my uh, fondness of Baltoy last episode, so I should add that you can actually find them down here. But if we run all the way to the farthest corner of the, uh, the lowest level, we find ourselves an Ultra Ball that will come in very handy very soon, friends. You'll soon figure out why. In fact, I'm actually going to preemptively, a little bit of a spoiler here, uh, ooh, actually before I do that, I'm going to heal Blue on the off chance I actually use him in this battle that we're about to embark on. No, we're going to use a potion because I think that is a little bit more necessary. There we go. Use another one just for safe measure because I feel like it. And there we go. Alrighty. If we run this way, oh, I actually said preemptively, I would switch my party out. I'm actually going to take a little bit of a risk. This could come back to bite me. I'm going to put up Lincoln in the front. You'll find out why I'm going to do that very soon. And here you have it, friends. Sorry about the silence there. I wanted to make it epic. Here we have... The pseudo legendary Bug Fire type Volcarona. Yes, friends, we're going to be catching Volcarona this episode. I am going to save this because I want to make sure I catch him. I'm, I'm not really planning on using any of these legendaries slash pseudo legendaries. I, Volcarona is not a legendary for that matter, but I always considered Volcarona a pseudo legendary in that case. And so I want to make sure I catch all of them for the sake of completion because I like catching the legendaries in every single Pokemon walkthrough I do. So without further delay, friends, let the battle begin! Here you have it, friends, Volcarona, a very interesting Pokemon indeed. As I stated before, Volcarona is a bug fire type, level 35, knows the moves, string shot, leech life, gust, and fire spin. They also have the, the ability flame body. I believe that is a uh, burn on contact, I'm not entirely confident. The reason why I said I was going to take a risk here is I'm going to try to see how much damage Fly does. I don't know if it'll one-shot Volcarona because it is five levels higher than I am, so I could just do a lot of damage to it. So I'm hoping that is the case. If not... Uh, and of course that's the case, friends. I'm going to meet you back after I reset. I'll be back in a moment. Friends, we are back regardless of Lincoln growing to level 31. We cannot have that happen quite yet. Round two against Volcarona, friends. Okay, so note to self. Fly one-shots Volcarona. So let's uh, not overestimate, underestimate our Pokemon's strength this time around and use a move that probably will not one-shot the poor thing. Let's try Slash them. Hey, it changed genders. How exciting. Between the uh, two encounters we've had. Anyway, let's try Slash. Let's see how much damage Slash does. Oh, not anywhere near as much. Excellent. Keep using Slash, Lincoln. We'll slowly burn this poor bug Pokemon down, and then we'll throw balls at it until we capture its soul. Ooh, mm, let's see. Did I try now? Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap out to Mary. Oh, I'm trapped in a fire spin. I can't. Ugh, that's annoying. Anyway, um, well, I guess in the meantime, until Lincoln dies, I'll lower its speed. Oh, or they'll just kill me next turn. That works, too. Yes, use next Pokemon. We're gonna send in Mary, so that way we can hit this Volcarona with a little bit of Thunder Wave, increasing our odds of capture. It is always nice to have a status effect Pokemon in your party. If it is just one move Pokemon knowing a single status ailment move, it is still very useful. 
So now that we have this poor little Volcarona down in the yellow, as well as being paralyzed, I think it might be time to try throwing Pokeballs at it. Hopefully, I have enough. I don't have a whole lot of uh, ball material, you could say, but uh, let's start with the Pokeballs. Wouldn't it be hilarious if the first Pokeball just magically decided to work? Nope, <laughs> I wasn't going to get that happening for me. Unfortunately, the uh, classic Let's Play kind of pseudo curse in which you curse the first Pokeball to be the one that catches your legendaries. Friends, I'm sorry, but I don't have the luck of some other guys. I'm sure there's a few of you who know exactly some of these uh, Let's Players that have had that kind of luck. Unfortunately, I am not one of them. Let's just keep hurling balls at this thing. That sounded really... Ugh. You know what? I might as well not even waste the Pokeballs. The chance, the catch rate is too low for these things. They should be my last resorts. If I could wear down this Volcarona a little bit more, uh, I could try using Thunder Punch. Ooh, this is risky. I'm gonna do it though. It shouldn't be very effective. You could probably hear that. Ugh. I want to meet you back again, friends, once I figure out how to catch this damn thing. Alrighty, friends. Uh, this time, we're actually going to use a different strategy. <laughs> Ugh. I am just, uh, I've had enough. I've had enough of this. This ridiculousness. We're going to start with Mary this time. We're going to slowly work its way down with Mary, starting out with Thunder Wave rather than using Thunder Wave later. This is probably going to be the majority of the episode, and if it's not, I'm cutting out a lot of battles after this. Anyway, enough acting like I've had enough of this. I've only been at this for about eight minutes. That is really not much in, uh, when I really think about it. The legendaries in the later part of the game will probably take a lot more than this Volcarona will it catch, so... And just this, this Volcarona is so close to our actual Pokemon levels that it means that my Pokemon actually have a good chance of killing the dang thing. Am I killing him? making it faint. I forgot, you don't kill things in Pokemon. Oh, no. Imagine a Pokemon game where it was overly realistic, where your Pokemon could die if they stayed faint, fainted for too long. Wouldn't that be intense? That'd be pretty badass. In a scary way. It'd be like, it'd be like a super ultra mega Nuzlocke challenge. Speaking of Nuzlocke challenges, friends, how do you feel about Nuzlocke challenges? How many of you have done your own Nuzlocke challenge? There's the question of the day for you. I've done a couple Nuzlocke challenges, as the uh, most recent one I remember was in Platinum. I actually ended up rage quitting that, I openly admit that. I was on the uh, the 7th gym battling, uh, oh, what's her name? It was, uh, like I said, Platinum version. I forget what that um, the 7th gym leader's name is. I know she's an Ice Type trainer, and I raised a freaking Metacham to get to that point, and boom! That Medicham, that level 54 Medicham, gets KO'd by like a level 43 Snover because I was too stubborn and let it stay in battle while it was confused. <sighs> swagger, man, that swagger. Snovus Swagger just did me in. Anyway, um, I'm still trying to work down this Volcarona. Ooh, paralyzed. But the fact that it lowers my attack being burned actually makes me feel more comfortable using Thunder Punch on this guy. Getting his HP down very close to the red. Hopefully I can get it down much further than that. Maybe get two more Thunder Punches in? Come on, baby. I could, yeah, I could get another Thunder Punch in. Hopefully this doesn't critically hit. Ugh, don't critically hit. <laughs> I can't take this. Okay, Mary, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> Yes! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, now is the time. Mary, you're going to die next round, and I don't give a damn. So here, use an Ultra Ball. My one of two Ultra Balls I have. I did not prepare for this Pokemon capture very well, because it was very on the moment. Oh, are you... Mm, that, is, that is a happy, happy man I am right here. Well, the burn's going to do Mary in. So, unfortunately, Mary did his work very, very well. Um, we're gonna then send out Wizard, actually, because I believe Wizard will probably take all these fire attacks that, uh, Volcarona does. Maybe Fire Spin and the Burns. So let us continue hurling the Pokeballs at it. I'll use my other Ultra Ball, just because, why not?
Uh, oh, you little bastard. Almost had it. Uh, okay. Well, there goes my hopes of catching it in an Ultra Ball. Now my chances get lower because all I have are uh, Great Balls, Poker Balls. I do have a couple Timer Balls, which I might try using if the fight goes on long enough. Um, hopefully that will actually pay off. Because uh, for any of you who are not aware, Timer Balls have an increased uh, catch rate depending on how long the battle goes on for. Like I said, Great Balls are probably not going to do me much good considering that two Ultra Balls didn't catch it. The second one being an Almost Ball. I'll use the five Great Balls I have. I'm not catching too many more Pokemon in this uh, LP, and if I want to catch any other Legendaries, I'm just going to go buy more Ultra Balls, to be honest. So, I am not going to be sparring with any of these Great Balls. Uh, no! Oh my god! Come on! Come the heck on, Volcarona. You want to be caught by me. You want to be caught by your trainer. You want a trainer to tell you what to do and order you around. Alright. Once more with once more with Gusto. The great ball. Catch. One for the money. Damn it! Okay, come on. Come. Ooh. Friends, this is not a pretty sight. This is not a pretty sight. I'm not showing you my true skills of Pokemon here, but I'm not cutting any of this out. This is the true essence. The true essence, friends, right here. You are witnessing it with your own eyes. I have... No, dang it, come on. Use Great Balls. I have three more Great Balls. Let's see how this works. One for the money. Two for the show. Three to get ready. Four to go! Woo! There you have it, friends. It is midnight and I am shouting in my basement. <laughs> Boom, there you have it, though. There's Volcarona for you. Unfortunately, you're just going to get lodged in the PC, Volcarona. You're not ever going to see the light of day. But she was a pseudo-legendary like that, so I felt obligated to catch it. Anyway, friends, we are now going to return back to our adventures in Relic Castle. We weren't out here for very much longer than that, so unfortunately, uh, that's really all there is down here in Relic ca Oh, did I say going back to Relic Castle? I meant Relic Passage. There we go. So let us continue our journey. Let me reactivate my dowsing machine, because that is half the reason why we go into this dang place. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, let me let me heal my Pokemon while I'm at it. Actually, I completely forgot that was like a factor in this. It's like, hey, your Pokemon don't get healed every three seconds. Oh, yeah, thanks, game, for reminding me that this is like kind of realistic. Um, Wizard, revive you up. I'm gonna use a revive, my only revive. On Mary. Uh, Super Potion. On Mary. Get her back up to full, or him. I always, I, I, I feel like, I feel like I did this with the nickname of my Pokemon. I nicknamed my Pokemon things that are like opposite of their gender. And by opposite, I mainly mean Mary and Baxter. Baxter is a male name, but I couldn't think of anything better to give a pincer, so she was female. But I gave Mary a male name, and Mary is kind of a female name. I don't know. I'm a weirdo, you friends. I don't know. Anyway, here we have another battle against Pugbacker Annie. She sends out her watch hard, I send out Bax to go! Anyway, we have another battle here. Let me use Brick Break on your face, bitch! Very nice. I realized that Blue was getting a little bit too far ahead in terms of level, so I decided to try leveling up some of my other Pokemon. Considering that we do need to make keep them all around the same level. At least that's the way I like it whenever I play these games. I don't like my Pokemon to get too far ahead of each other. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I know there are some people who like the fact that you can train like three Pokemon and run the entire game through with them. I personally am really against that. Wait, did I not have a Max Repel up? Well, there's the Onyx for you, friends. I, I told you you could catch Onyxes in here, and I'm, I was right. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna... Ooh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna try to kill this Onyx. Baxter is very close to leveling up. I will probably cut out some of the trainer battles, though, in this episode. The, uh... 
fight against Volcarona lasted much longer than expected. I did not anticipate having to take three takes on that before I finally caught the dang thing. There we go. Down goes that. And Baxter grew to level 31. Very, very nice. Yes, Repel's, Repel's effect wore off. I guess you can find Pokemon while Repel's are up? Okay, game. Whatever you say. You want to tell me that I can't find Pokemon while I'm using a Repel? That's okay by me, as long as you aren't going to lie to me every single time you claim that I have freaking... Ugh, Repel's up, Jesus, man. Anyway, I'm actually going to use a couple potions. I, I overstocked, or I didn't overstock. I stocked up on potions knowing that I would be needing to heal my dang party up constantly. I don't have a lot of uh, defensive type Pokemon in my party. I realize that, unfortunately. So uh, maybe uh, the sixth member of our team will have quite a higher defense compared to others. Maybe a little bit of a spoiler. Maybe not. We found a Drillbur. I was hoping to find a Red Shard or a Blue Shard. I'm actually going to run away from this guy because I really don't want to waste my time killing this dang thing. Because a level 16 Drillbur is not going to do too much for experience to me, unfortunately. Oh, actually, ooh. Well, yes, push this boulder first. Come on, Orion. Push this boulder for me. Thank you ever so kindly. We are now actually getting to the portion of the uh, Relic Passage where we are actually able to... We're almost done exploring the entirety of the Relic Passage, to be honest. You found another Max Repel! Fantastic! I did not need all these max repels, says. It's a little unnecessary. But now that we've jumped all the way down here... Oh, another trainer! I'm gonna cut this guy out completely, friends. I'll see you back when I'm done kicking his booty. He claimed his Pokemon had good abilities, but little did he know. Little did he know. Unfortunately, I do want to battle with you to level up my Pokemon a little bit more, but I am going to s s cut through the poor soul. See you back in a bit. One thing to note, actually, is the Pokemon in this area, in addition to the Pokemon the trainers have in this area, are going to be much lower level than we are ourselves. But it actually turns out that is because we are currently in the area that connects to Castalia Sewers. And I screwed myself out of getting some items. Uh, that's just great. I needed to take that passage up there. I shouldn't have jumped down. Ugh, whatever. There's just a, it's a couple little minor items. They're nothing too major. And if I really wanted, I could come back and get them later, but I really don't see the point. Anyway, I'm actually going to run up here and try to get these items that I can still see in the, uh, using my dowsing machine. An escape rope, not terribly, terribly useful, but why not? I'm going to actually ignore you, because I realized that by saying the trainers here are low level, I don't see why I would want to battle some of these low level trainers. Uh, I've lost out of that dirt patch. Oh, I guess I won't miss out of these trainer battles. Great. Ugh. Ugh, you are a much larger nuisance than I would have hoped, friends. Uh, unfortunately. But, like I said, this area connects to Castalia Sewers. We did not go in there earlier, I do believe, when we were first ventured into Castalia. So, we are going to leave through Castalia. And now that we have the ability to fly, we can just fly right on out of here, back towards Driftvale City. Let's hop on Lincoln's back for the first time. And fly to Driftvale City. There we go, friends. First time using an HM in real life. Woo! Wait, did anyone see the fact when I jumped on his back, another one stayed behind? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? Oh, silly emulator. You so silly. Anyway, I'm gonna deposit, uh, put a little Orion here. So you can join Zora and Volcarona sitting in the PC, getting no love. Anyway, we'll play, we might pull Orion back out sometime later. No, I don't use another repel. We're going to heal up, friends. But in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon White 2, we are going to venture out towards Route 6, like Sharon said two episodes ago. If you have not done so already, feel free to subscribe to the Nimbus channel, as well as my personal channel, Zelda Saber 31 And don't forget to leave a like and a comment on down below to show your support for Ninbus's channel, guys. It would mean the world to us. In addition to that, also, do not forget 
to subscribe to the Pokemon White 2 show so you guys don't miss a single upload. And with that, I will see you all in the next episode over here. You're all having an absolutely fantastic day.